Vater. Oh mein Gott. Das ist du. Secret Service Agent Frank Horrigan ist still haunted by the failure of his first presidential assignment, which was to protect President John F. Kennedy in Dallas in 1963. Given his code of duty, Horrigan would have easily taken the bullet for JFK. I've read about you, seen photos. You were JFK's favorite agent. Why don't we get together and have a drink? We could talk about that. Oh, I'd love to, but I think the less you know about me, the better. Oh, why? Because I'm planning to kill the president. Almost 30 years later, a new set of threats come in, aimed at the new president. In the line of fire stars Clint Eastwood as Frank Horrigan and John Malkovich as Mitch Leary, the professional assassin. There's many, many threats against uh, the president every year, and, and um, uh, some of them, uh, most of them are just that, just idle conversation, and some of them are actually serious. Mitch Leary is the opponent of a lifetime. He seems to track Horgan's every move, and the two are playing what seems to be a deadly game of cat and mouse. And his view of the world, I think, is fairly clear. Um, that, you know, the world is no good, and he's been betrayed. In this scary drama, there's also a lighter side. Actress Renee Russo stars as Secret Service agent Lily Rains, a woman Horrigan is aiming for. Agent Rains, you do look devastating tonight. Thank you. Good enough to eat, I might add. Eastwood says he's enjoyed doing this film because the character wasn't a simple one. I love to play flawed characters. I love to play characters that have something they have to overcome within themselves as well as a, uh, overcoming the obstacle of the antagonist. Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News, Daybreak.